it's the end of the year and as a special edition I'm going to do a then and now episode of my video diary. in August and I took lots of photos then and obviously hours and hours of video which you've hopefully been watching and now it's an opportunity for me to show what the allotment was like and what it is now. So when I took over the allotment in August we just had a summer of weather records. Not only did we have the hottest day in the year with the temperatures going into the 40s but we also had the longest period of time without rainfall in Norfolk. Absolutely amazing. You can tell from the photos uh, how scorched and dry the ground was, which was great because it meant that when I came to pull out the weeds, there was nothing holding them in. and They, they just pulled out. It was very easy. When I took the photos to show you the difference, <laughs> what... Well, it's winter, it was raining, it was quite a foggy day, although you can't actually see that in the photos. Uh, so everything looks brown and gloomy and miserable, but you still get the idea. The grass is a lot greener anyway. So you'll certainly see the difference between the seasons. It, it really is an amazing contrast. So I've divided the video you're about to see, the screenshots, slideshow, uh, into several parts. Um, the first part is going to be the main allotment. Then after that we'll have a look at Pathgate, or the path at, by the main road. We'll have a, a few shots of the hedge, not the greatest uh, uh, improvement unfortunately. Uh, and then finally we'll have a look at the pond. Before we do that again let me show you Google Earth and the layout of the plot so you can get an idea of directions when I'm actually um, taking the photos. So hang on a second, let's switch over to Google Earth. So these are the allotments. Uh, there's the road that all the heavy traffic goes down. Uh, it is quite a busy road during um, the summer. Uh, lots of uh, farm traffic and such like trundled down. Let's have a bit closer and this is plot 1A just in this corner here. So here's the gate that you'll see in the photos. Uh, underneath this tree, this is the elm and the sycamore uh, and a hawthorn here. Uh, under these trees is the pond. There's the railing. You can just make out that metal row of the railing here. This is the path and if I scroll in you can actually see the this bit here is the actual fence can't quite work out what it, yeah you can see this line here is the actual fence that so where people can't get over so it goes down here this is, it literally touches the corner of this plot and goes along here uh, and you can see roughly how uh, the width of the path and things there because that's important later on so my plot here this is the fruit tree area, this is the composting area, that's the main row of um, growing area and then there's a second one over here and there's the hedge that you'll see as well. Okay so let's get on with the slideshows so oh sorry yeah that's north that's south towards the bottom of the map um, west over here and east over there obviously there we go. Plot one eye. So let's get into the special edition, the then and now. Enjoy.
have a look at the path now. Uh, this is one of the major successes of the allotment for me. Uh, it means, uh, as you will see at the end of this little section, uh, how safer this area is now. Look at the hedge now. Um, the, when I took over the plot, you can see how ivy bound it was, and that really just restricted all the uh, the growth uh, because the ivy had literally just choked it. So I removed the majority of the ivy, and I'm hoping in the summer it will grow back a lot bushier. And thanks to everybody that's given me uh, information and advice on how to get it to uh, repair itself. sequence for the pond my little pet project it's not really a pond per se it's a water runoff pit for the road but that doesn't mean that local wildlife love it it's apparently during the summer it can be full of um, newts and frogs although this year uh, when I took the allotment over uh, it was actually dried out um, and looking very sorry for itself so let's see uh, if it uh, dries out again next year and uh, we'll see what uh, we can actually do with the banks. Now you'll see there's a lot of um, bare earth around the pond. During the spring you're going to see lots of um, bulbs, spring bulbs that I've planted popping up including native daffodils, native um, bluebells and hopefully um, other um, native plants as well. Uh, I've also um, hopefully grown some primroses um, which I, I hope to plant and uh, keep alive down there. The rest of the earth will be a mixture of wild flowers and also cut and cutting flowers for um, people's pleasure as they walk past to look at. I don't have a garden here at the um, bungalow um, so it's going to be my happy place where I'm going to go and enjoy um, hopefully all the bees, birds, insects and heavy traffic thundering by.
what I'm going to do as a fade out is to show you a recap of the photos that I showed in episode one. I showed you five, uh, four different views around the allotment and the last one uh, of the pond. I just want to say a very big thank you for everybody that's been joining me uh, on my diary. Thank you so much for subscribing. Your comments have both um, been amusing and supporting and very, very informative. And thank you all for those as well. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. There's going to be plenty more in the new year and lots of added bonus uh, videos as well. And when I tackle various subjects.